So we didn't show you the procedure to install piston number one, but it's the same as piston number, I mean piston number four, but it's the same thing as piston number one. One thing that I do suggest is do them in pairs because these two pistons are all the way up. The crankshaft, the journals are all the way facing us. Do these two at a time. So you're gonna do two at a time. Either you, either you do the two outer ones and then the inner one or the two inner ones and then the outer one. Because you can imagine if you wanna do this one here, kind of hard, you know, if you wanna rotate it. Anyways, so the same procedure. Now, it's the plastic gauge's turn for these guys, for the connecting rods. And so don't, remember, the caps don't interchange them so be careful with that orientation and placement okay so just like the main bearings oh. First things first, make sure everything is clean for this measurement. That's what I want to happen. Make sure it's clean. measurements as precisely as possible. Finesse, finesse, finesse. Should you open it? You're in the home stretch right here, friend. Most of you, including me, always want to quit. So keep at it. Because you're so close. Hello. Tang with Tang. This is a little bit different from the main caps, by the way. This you set it to twenty. Set it to twenty. So we're gonna torque it to twenty, then forty five. The same thing, try not to rotate the crankshaft. If you rotate the crankshaft, then your measurement is gonna be off. So. Ah. 
hopefully we'll be done here. Now you increase it to Okay. And like I mentioned before, use a generic ratchet to get them out. Try not to rotate the crankshaft. Finesse. Everything is about finesse. Where is it? I would say so. It's tapered off on the side a little bit, but it's still in specs. So we're good. Okay. So remember, plastic is not perfect, but it's good enough. Where it's averaging out, I guess. Let me see. So now you have to clean it. Now that you know that it's right, now you put assembly loom. The first time, don't put assembly loom. Like I had mentioned in the main bearings. Otherwise, your measurement is going to be off. So maybe I should have mentioned that to me in. put any right here because this is not supposed to spin it's supposed to stay stationary so technically speaking if you can weld it you would weld it there we go you don't want to you don't want to have a spun bearing make sure to lubricate it well make sure well scratched again. Make sure it's flush. 
Remember, finesse, don't scratch the bearing. I'm not. For all you that are looking and all of you know I'm not. I'm being careful and being having finesse. Make sure tang with tang. Since we already calibrated it. This one's ready to go. We're at the home stretch. We're almost there. Don't go up on me now. <laughs> okay, so whatever we did to this one, we're gonna do to this one. They're gonna rotate the crankshaft, and we're gonna do it to the other ones. So. There's plenty. And then it's forty five. This is 45, eh? This one's done. Now we're going to repeat the same procedure in this one, then we're going to rotate the crank, and then we're going to do these two. Afterwards, you should be done, so we're not going to keep recording because it's redundant. It's the same procedure. So, I guess this is the goodbye for right now. So, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so we just did these two. Um, the clearance matched, so we're good. Uh, so as you can imagine, don't start these because then you're gonna scratch the journal when you're whenever you're putting the piston. There's just more of a chance that you're gonna scratch the journal. And so what you do, and by the way, um, so you do these two, and then these two are these two, and then these two. But every time you add, keep adding pistons, you're gonna notice that. I mean, as you can imagine, you know this is gonna be harder to turn. You know, so just be aware of that. And on top of that, as I'm sure you know, whenever the pistons, so these two, these two pistons are all the way down, these are all the way up, at least in this motor, this type of motor, but um, whenever the pistons are all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom, this is easy to rotate, but whenever they're in like the mid section, that's when you begin to struggle, so I don't know, I'm, honestly I don't know why, but like right there is hard, it's not terribly hard, right, but right there it's easy again. I can't even do it with one hand. My hands weren't slippery. But once it gets to that mid zone, it gets hard. So just be aware of that. Make sure you orient these guys back up. Do the remaining pistons, clock them, and you should be good. So you're gonna see the rest of it. Thank you, bye.